Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating a presentation. In this tutorial, we will learn about some important features in the impress window. We will also learn how to insert new slides, copy existing slides, use various fonts in impress, format the fonts and delete slides. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let's open the presentation sample-impress.odp which we created earlier. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy and then use it for practicing. Let's take a closer look at the impress window. In the center, we see the workspace, which is our working area. We can customize the view of the workspace based on our preferences. To do so, click on the view menu in the menu bar. Then select the View Tab Bar option. At the top, the workspace has four tabs called View Buttons. By default, the normal tab is selected. This is the main view for creating individual slides. Outline tab shows topic titles, bulleted and numbered list for each slide in outline format. Notes tab lets you add notes to each slide. These notes are not seen when the presentation is shown. Slide Sorter tab shows thumbnails of slides. Let's click on the normal tab again. Another way to access these is by clicking on the Display Views icon in the standard toolbar. Here we can see various icons indicating different views of the workspace. On the left hand side of the screen is the slides pane. It contains thumbnails of the slides in the presentation. On the right hand side is the sidebar. It has seven sections. In the sidebar, click on the first section named Properties. It has a property named Layouts. This has various built-in layouts. We can use these layouts directly or modify them as per our requirements. We shall see each of these sections in detail as we progress through the series. Let's close the properties section. To do so, click on X at the top right corner of the properties section. Now, Let's add some content to the second empty slide. Click on the second slide in the slides pane. Click on the text box that says click to add title and type overview inside it. Then click on the text box that says click to add text and type the following text. Summarize the main plans. Explain the long-term course to follow. Let us add bullet points to the content in the body text box. So first, select all sentences by pressing Ctrl plus A keys. Then click on the Properties section. Go to the Lists property and click on the Toggle Bulleted List icon. Let's close the Properties section. Notice the change in the text. Now, let's learn how to insert a new slide into the presentation. There are two ways in which we can insert a slide. Let's look at the first way. Select Slide 2 in the Slides pane by clicking on it. If you have resized your LibreOffice window, some of the icons may not be visible. In that case, 
click on the double arrow icon at the end of the toolbars to see the hidden icons. Click on the new slide icon in the standard toolbar. A new blank slide gets inserted after slide 2. Let me show you another way to add a new slide. Click on the slide menu in the menu bar and then on the new slide option. Once again, we see that a new blank slide has been inserted. Let's add some content into these empty slides. Select the slide 3 in the slides pane. Click on the text box, click to add title and type short term strategy inside it. Likewise, set the title for the fourth slide as long term goal. Now let us learn how to copy a slide. There are two ways in which we can make a copy of a slide. Let's look at the first way. Select slide 3 in the slides pane by clicking on it. Click on the duplicate slide icon in the standard toolbar. A new duplicate slide gets inserted after slide 3. Alternatively, click on the slide menu in the menu bar and then on the duplicate slide option. Once again, we see that a new duplicate slide has been inserted. Now, let's learn about fonts and how to format fonts. Click on the slide titled Overview in the slide pane. Click on the body text box and select the second line of text. Go to the sidebar and click on the properties icon. In the character property, change the font name to Carlito. Then change the font size from 26 to 32. Notice that the font has changed as per our selection. Next, let's change the color of the font. Click on the body text box and select all the text by pressing Ctrl plus A keys. In the character property, go to the font color icon. Then, click on the drop down arrow next to it and select any color that you like. I am selecting teal color. Notice the change in color in the text. Now click on the title text box and select the entire text. Go to the character property again. The text is already in bold. Now let's click on the icons for italics and underline. Notice the change in the text. Finally, we will learn to delete a slide from the presentation. There are two ways to do this. First way is to select a slide, say slide 5 in the slide pane. Then click on the delete slide icon in the standard toolbar. Second way is to select a slide, say slide 4 in the slide pane. Click on the delete key on the keyboard to delete this slide. Let us save all the changes we made in our presentation by clicking on the save icon and then close the file. With this, we have come to the end of this spoken tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt some important features in the Impress window. We also learnt how to insert new slides, copy existing slides, use various fonts, format the fonts and delete slides. As an assignment, open practice-impress.odp file. Insert a new slide after the second slide. Type some text in the body text box of the third slide. Change the font size of the text to 36. Make the text bold, italic, underlined and blue color. Create a copy of the third slide. Save and close the presentation. 
The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by DC Crew Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This is Arvind and Manish from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.